नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत समुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत समुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत समुद्ध ओके डियर फ्रेंड्स इन धम्म Today I am going to talk about another interesting topic that is about urna loma dhatu the top of hair between the eyebrows of the buddha the mark on the forehead of the buddha is called an urna and it is described in the suttas as a tuft of white hair it should not be confused with the third eye On Buddhist statues the urna is sometimes represented as a single curl as shown in this particular picture you can see between the eyebrows of the buddha is a single curl hair specifically urna is a sanskrit word and unna is the pali word they both mean the similar like urna and unna they both means the tuft of hair between the eyebrows of the buddha in this particular picture you can clearly see the urna of of or tuft of the hair between the eyebrows of the buddha in this picture it is turned to the right side so this buddha statue especially was made of ivory or tusca in a few centuries ago period of candy kingdom in sri lanka the urna is turned to the left here you can see it i think it was mistake by the artist who made this sculpture because he created this urna by standing in front of the buddha and he made it from his right side there are something happened like that okay and this is a well known very famous aukana buddha statue the aukana statue is a standing statue of the buddha and made of stone near kakirawa in north central sri lanka the statue which has a height of more than 14 meters uh, or uh, 46 feet depicts the buddha with the hand raised in reassurance a variation of the abhaya mudra the aukana statue is one of the best examples of a standing statue built in sri lanka It is now a popular tourist attraction. The Aukana statue is widely believed to have been constructed in 5th century, but a number number of opinion have been expressed. Therefore, the date is unverified. Let me share another picture of this statue, then you can see Urna well. on this standing buddha statue in this particular picture is is a closely you can see buddha's face this is the same uh, how can a standing buddha statue and there is the urna between the eyebrows even though this statue was created nearly 2000 years ago we can still see urna clearly here and this is another standing buddha statue and you can see the urna here as well this is one of the 32 mahapurusha lakkana the 32 signs of a great man the complete set of marks is only found on wheel turning monarchs and perfectly enlightened buddhas they are the result of fast wholesome action and they predict a non physical quality the most details about these marks can be found in the lakkana sutta in the diga nikaya the sutta number 
is translated as the marks of a great man the buddha have this turf of hair with color of white or silver the urna is turned to the right as well but will turning monarchs have this same urna but it is gold in color and turned to the left side so difference are clear between the buddha and the wheel turning monarch in how the urna appears physically so in lakkana sutta is mentioned this pali uh, chords urna bamukantare jata odata mudutula sanniba the turf of turf of hair between the eyebrows eyebrows on his forehead is very white like cotton lakkana sutta the mark of a great man diganikaya and dear friends and this is how lakkana sutta of diganikaya explain how the buddha got this urna let me read the read the account lakkana sutta the marks of a great man monks in whatever former life former existence or dwelling place the tathagata being born a human being rejecting false speech put away lies and became a truth speaker wedded to the truth reliable consistent not deceiving the world by performing that karma heaping it up lavishly and abundantly at the breaking up of the body after death he was reborn in a happy state in a heavenly world where he was endowed beyond other devas in ten respects in the length of heavenly life beauty happiness splendor influence and in heavenly sights sounds smells taste and contacts falling away from there and coming to be reborn here on earth he acquired this mark of the great man diganikaya sutta number 30 okay dear friends you can see little hole between the buddha buddha eyebrows in in this particular gandhara art sculpture which mean the art is in inculcate catered a valuable stone like gem diamond or gold but it, it is missing right now that means the artist wanted to depict the buddha's urna in in this same way my dear friends this is another gandhara buddha sculpture you can see the little hole on the forehead of the buddha as well gandhara was between northwestern pakistan and eastern afghanistan between the 1st century bce and the 7th century ce this is another beautiful gandhara this sculpture is a buddha's head and you can see this hole as a, a turf of hair of the buddha and this is another gandhara sculpture Uh, sometimes it is resp- uh, represented as a single dot as shown in this gandhara art sculpture and there are nine verses called narasiya gatha the stanzas of the lion of a man is translated like that these beautiful verses were uttered by princess yasodhara to her son prince rahul on the occasion of the buddha's first visit to kapilavastu after his enlightenment enlightenment she described the great physical characteristic and virtues of the supreme buddha this stanza expresses the urn and say as white as the morning star in his beautiful turf of hair between the eyebrows i will recite that is stanza and you can get an idea anjana vanna sunila sukeso kanchana patta visuddha lalatu 
ओषधि पंडर शुद्ध सुनो ये सही तुय पिता नर सी हो द मीनिंग लाइक द कलर ऑफ कॉलरियम इन इज हिज डीप ब्लू हेयर लाइक अ पॉलिश गोल्डन प्लेट इज हिज पोहेड As white as the morning star is his beautiful tuft of hair between the eyebrows that indeed is your father line of men Narasiha gatha verse number 7 and this is the 14th 40th stanza of Dasu Bajaniya katha a chapter 29th of Buddha vansa pali in kuddaka nikaya of sutta pitaka This instance are clearly mentioned the items which the Buddha used like such as ladle belt and bathing robe and those items were enshrined in different places in India according to this verse the ladle which Buddha used to take water and the belt were in Patna The robe that the Buddha used to take bath is in the city of Champa and Urna was in the kingdom of Kosala I mentioned that instance instance here partly put the nagare karakan kaya bandanan Champa ya mudaka satiyan unna lomancha Kosala the important line the last line is very important for us according to our topic we are talking about urna loma datu is say unna lomancha kosale the urna uh, the turf of hair between the eyebrows of the buddha was in the kingdom of kosala kosala is today called savatthi that area so this urna was uh, enshrined in this particular area location so this is another gandhara artwork you can see a dot between the eyebrows is is represented with this urna and dear friend uh, this is jataka tales illustrate the for this jataka story called magga jataka story this tale illustrates the perfection of the character of wisdom panya how buddha fulfill how the bodhisattva fulfill his prajna paramita the bodhisattva was once a king's advisor called mahoshada the king named vedeha ruled in mithila and he had four sages who instructed him in the law these advisers were named senaka pokusa kavinda and devinda the bodhisattva was the youngest and he was able to solve a lot of problem at that time this is how he solved a problem uh, let me share the story for example this is how solve problem and uh, you know this uh, jataka story later related to buddha's urna loma datu the, the turf of hair of the buddha ummaga jataka story this is a quote i uh, get i collected here for our topic the gem 12 part of the story the gem the gem which sakka the king of gods gave to king kusa was octagonal its thread was broken and no one could remove the old thread and put in a new one one day they sent this gem with direction to take out the old thread and put in a new one the villagers could do either the one nor the other and they told the sage in their difficulty he bade them fear nothing and ask for a lump of honey with this he smeared the two holes in the gem and twisting a thread of wool he smeared the end of this also with honey he pushed the 
wool thread a little way into the hole and put in it in a place where ants were passing. The ants smelling the honey came out and began eating away the old thread bit hold of the end of the woolen thread and pull it out at the other end. When he saw that it had passed through, he bade them present it to the king, who was pleased when he heard how the thread had been pulled, put in. And according to Kusa Jataka's story, King Kusa received octagonal gem from Saka. Saka is the king of gods. Then it it was received by King Vedeha in Mithila on, on this uh, particular Jataka story called Umaga Jataka story. Later, Emperor Asoka would receive this same octagonal gem with Urna Dhatu of the Buddha uh, from his ancestors. And according to the Pali Chronicle of Sri Lanka, namely Deepavansa and Mahavansa, Arahant Mahinda, the son of Emperor Asoka of India, came to Sri Lanka on the full moon day of the month of June. Arahant Mahinda met King Devanam Piyatissa and freed the Buddhist doctrine at Mihintale. Mihintale has been one of the great monasteries with a lot of history. It is a very beautiful temple with a few stupas and ancient caves and ruins. So, according to Raja Ratnakara and Pujavalya, both uh, historical books, those were written centuries ago in Pali language. These two books say that Emperor Asoka gave the octagonal gem to his son Arahant Mahinda to take it to Sri Lanka which had Urna Dhatu inside the octagonal gem. Arahant Mahinda secretly enshrined it in a place at the top of the mountain in Mihintali. Then this large stupa known as the Mahasaya, the great stupa is one of the summit of the Mihintali hill built by King Mahadatika Mahanaga 7 and 1980. According to all information, the Urna Dhatu or turf of the hair of the Buddha between eyebrows is enshrined inside this beautiful stupa today, the great stupa. You can see the, uh, the beautiful picture of that great stupa. And this is another picture of that Mahasaya, the great stupa at Mihintale. So you can see how beautiful is this location and that stupa is shining and like a like, like a sky, like a cloud. And this is another beautiful picture of that great stupa. And you also can see the Aradhana Gala means a huge rock formation that paces the great stoop on a summit of a hill. In Pali chronicles such as the Mahavansa, it is written that great Arahant Mahinda came to Sri Lanka by traveling through the air. He came down and landed on the top of the uh, top of that huge rock where he met King Devanam Pietis from the first time. So you can see that uh, huge rock formation where the Arahant Mahinda landed. And also there is another is, uh, beautiful Buddhist statue uh, and the great stupa. Such amazing place, very blessed place. Uh, dear friends, and also I want to tell you that some countries used to mention urna or the turf of hair between the eyebrows of the buddha uh, in different ways the for example you can see this nepali buddhist statue has urna like a line beautiful line so they use different 
uh, way to mention this uh, represent this urna on buddhist statues and also another thing i want to tell you uh, this is arahant mahakasapa the third principal disciple of the buddha and foremost arahant of dutanga practicing the uh, ascetism practicing he had seven sign of a great man of man out of 32 also he had a urna, a urna datu turf of hair between eyebrows and you can see this turf of hair in this picture between eyebrows the artist uh, created it well and these are the sources i used to make this information this record uh, you can see lakkana sutta the mark of a great man diganikaya sutta number 30 and and the 40th stanza of datu bajaniya katha chapter 29 buddha uh, buddha vansa pali kuddaka nikaya of Sut- sutta pitaka and also narasiha gatha verse number 7 and kusa jataka story maha ummaga jataka story so these are the sources so you can read and learn more about turf of the buddha and also about buddha sada relics and history so is they are very interesting uh, history and you can learn and have knowledge and dear friends i hope you learn something about the buddha surna uh, the turf of hair between the eyebrows of the buddha and thank you very much for watching the video don't forget to subscribe the riyat youtube channel to get notification of new videos i conclude my talk by saying sadhu 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 may all beings be well and happy Thank you again.